ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church. This is Countdown to Courage. We want to welcome you to Countdown to Courage on this Thursday, April the 25th, 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day today. I apologize we got on here just a couple minutes, a few minutes late. And um, anyway, we had uh, a little problem uh, getting on the server. But anyway, we're here. And so praise the Lord for that. I'm glad you're here with us today. It's a beautiful day in North Carolina where I'm broadcasting from, and I hope wherever you are today, I hope it's a gorgeous day. And you know what? If you know the Lord, it's a beautiful day. It doesn't matter whether it's sunshine or raining. Uh, if you know Christ, it's a beautiful, beautiful day, and uh, we're so glad to have you with us today. Listen, hang in there with us. We've got a good, I believe we've got a good word for you. We'll be incredibly brief today. I don't think we're going to be lengthy at all. We'll be, uh, but I, I, I believe this is going to be a help to you. I believe it's going to be a blessing to you. Uh, well, I just want to say um, a big amen for the service that God gave us last night at Calvary. Wow, wow, wow. You know, <laughs> I don't think anybody really knew what to say last night. It was one of those kind of services where uh, at the uh, conclusion of the service, uh, we were just sort of speechless. It was just, uh, you know, really, and really uh, every day was like that. Every service was like that. Uh, I think, personally, I think probably one of the greatest Magnify conferences that Calvary Baptist Church has ever experienced, and God uh, bless, the music was so encouraging and uplifting. Uh, every group did great, every service, every uh, all the choir, uh, all, all the numbers that the choir did, uh, musicians knocked it out of the park, our special music was great, and then, of course, it just seemed like that uh, every day that the Holy Spirit gave us a preacher uh, that had the specific message that each of us needed in a very, very specific and special way. And so it was great last night. Brother Poindexter just knocked it out of the park. Of course, God used him. And uh, anyway, wonderful, wonderful Magnify Conference. And we just give God praise. We give him total praise and glory. Uh, God did what only God could do. And I believe our hearts were stirred, and we thank the Lord, and we praise the Lord for that. If you were not able to be there, let me encourage you to go back and watch the live stream. The live stream is powerful as well. And uh, anyway, but we're glad to have you aboard today. Let me do this, if I could. Let me take us over here to the split screen and, um, and uh, just make mention, of course, of our giveaway that we're promoting this week. We are promoting, of course, the Bible promise book, KJV Bible, and, uh, and uh, anyway, this is a, a wonderful, wonderful gift that we're looking forward to giving away. Um, uh, we've only given one other Bible away, and that's when I gave away one of the ones that I'd preached from. I haven't preached from this Bible, but, um, but boy, I'm going to tell you what, this is a great one. 150 Bible promise categories, 9,000 highlighted scripture references, daily promise, many devotions. <clears throat> this is a wonderful wonderful copy of the word of God. And uh, not only that, but I'll tell you something else. It just feels good. Uh, it feels good. Now it's not, uh, this is not leather, but it would be, um, it would be like a leather feel. And so wonderful Bible. If you'd like the opportunity to win this excellent gift, then reach down right now, like the broadcast, but more importantly, share the broadcast and you more, the more you share it, the more the message of the good news of the gospel is going to get out there. And here's what we'll do. God willing, tomorrow we'll get together all the names of those that have shared the broadcast this week. And we'll give away this Bible on the air, Lord willing, tomorrow at 3 p.m. And so I hope that you'll get involved in that. And uh, anyway, that's a great that's a great gift, and so we praise the Lord for that. Well, again, we're great. We're glad to have you here today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We have the old red, white, and blue uh, that is um, uh, flowing behind us. And uh, boy, how many are glad that you live in America? How many are glad that you're an American? Of course, we have 
uh, people that watch our broadcast that are not from America, and we love them. We recently had uh, Pastor Harrison Wabiru and his dear wife, and then Pastor Joseph uh, in our church, and uh, we, you know, this is uh, so wonderful. We really became acquainted with them through this ministry of Countdown to Courage, and just a few weeks ago, they graced us at the Calvary Baptist Church of Union Grove, and uh, man, what a special, special time that was. And so anyway, we welcome you today. I want to draw your attention to Isaiah 26 and verse number three again. Um, we took a little time, we're talking about peace, and we took a little time the other day to talk about Isaiah 26, three. The Bible says, thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. And I want to, I want to see if I can just sort of focus in on that once again as we are talking about peace. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Now, again, someone says, preacher, but how uh, in the day and time in which we're living, I want that peace and I want to keep my mind stayed on the Lord, but how do you keep your mind stayed on the Lord? And that's really what I want to focus on for the next little bit today, maybe tomorrow. How do you keep your mind stayed on the Lord? Well, let me give you an idea. Let me give you a suggestion, if I could. How about this? Number one is this. Make the Word of God a priority. Make the Word of God a priority. Make the Bible a priority. Uh, Brother Poindexter did that last night. Man, oh man, did he ever do that. He made the Word of God a priority. In fact, he drew this verse out in Psalm 138 and verse number two, the Bible says, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. And so if we're going to keep our minds stayed on the Lord so we can have that perfect peace that he talks about, then it's very important that we make the word of God a priority, that we magnify the word of God in our personal lives. Have you ever wondered about this? I, I know many of you have read the book of Job. You've studied Job. We know that Job went through trials and temptations and struggles, maybe more than maybe maybe more than any man on earth. And yet we notice there in Job chapter forty-two that God brought him through, and Job was victorious. And Job knew what it was to have peace once again. But have you ever, you ever wondered about this? How was it that Job? continued to have peace through the storm? How was it that Job was able to have that peace that passeth all understanding through those struggles and valleys? Ten of his kids were, uh, were taken in death. He lost his homes. He lost his prosperity. He lost his success. He lost his uh, livestock. He lost his, uh, his servants and uh, even his friends, if you will, and yet Job, it seemed that Job continued to possess this thing of peace that we're talking about on the broadcast. And now someone says, Brother Pope, you're, you're, you're getting off course a little bit. Not really, not really. Because I want to draw your attention to Job chapter 23 and verse number 12. Somebody says, Preacher, how did Job possess peace through such an enormous time, a terrible time of suffering and trials. Well, listen, if you will, to Job chapter 23 and verse number 12. Listen to what Job says. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. Job said, I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. There it is right there. Boy, Job magnified the word in his life. Uh, Job made the word of God a priority in his life. And even uh, even in the face of terrible opposition, even in the face of terrible struggles, even in the face of, of, of storms, Job was able to possess a peace that the world knows nothing about. How was it, Pastor? Because he made the Bible a priority. Now listen, this is, I know this is simple. I know it is. But I would ask you today, friend, 
Are you making the Word of God a priority in your life? Are you magnifying the Bible in your personal life? You say, preacher, and you may be watching today and you say, pastor, I'm going through a struggle. I'm going through a storm. Maybe not like what Job did, but pastor, I'm going through a, a dark time in my life. I'm going through a um, uh, just a, a, a deep time, a heavy time in my life. And, uh, and, and pastor, how in the world... Uh, can I have peace? And this is the answer, at least partially to that. You must make the word of God a priority in your life. Now, let me give you a, a few things quickly, quickly, before we go off there. We, we've been on here 15 minutes, so we're doing okay. Let me give you a few, uh, a few tidbits, a few things that will help you. Many years ago, a pastor friend of mine taught this at his church, and I got a hold of this, and uh, I just implemented it personally into my life, and I, and I have never got away from this. And it, it's been many, many years that I taught this. But he taught this concept to his church, his word, first word, his word, last word. Now, I'm going to explain that, so stay with us. His word, first word, his word, last word. And now you say, Brother Pope, what in the world does that mean? Well, that pastor taught his people this, listen, let his word, God's word, let his word be the very first word that you take part in in your life. And then let his word be the last word that you enjoy before you end your day. So every day, every day in my life when I get up, one of the absolute first things that I do is I spend a little time with the Lord. I'm not talking about now I have a season of prayer and a season of Bible in my day, but I'm not talking about that. But the first thing I do, first thing I do in the morning, one of the first things I do is, number one, I, I get up and I tell the Lord I love him and, I, and I, I talk to him and I greet him as I begin the day. And then I start with a verse. I start with his word. I start with something like Isaiah 26, 3. I often start with that verse. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. But I start with a word. I, I start with his word. And then as I'm ending my day, and uh, just like last night, I ended my day very late. I think it was around uh, one o'clock or after, one o'clock in the morning, I ended my day at least. And, uh, but I always try to end the day with his word. And so I'll usually, I'll go by my office, I'll grab the word of God and I just let it fall open somewhere and I'll read the word of God. Now, again, the idea being this, that as I, as I start the day, I start the day with his word. As I end the day and get ready to lay my head on my pillow, I end the day with his word. Now, I have times throughout the day where I'm in his word and I have a season of prayer and I have a, a season that I spend in the word of God. But I hope you understand what I'm saying. Make the Bible a priority. I'll tell you something else quickly, quickly. Keep the Bible close at hand. And uh, you know what? I like to have the Bible close to me, <laughs> close to me. I never want the word of God to be very, very far away from me. Now, I know we have it in our, on our phones, we have it on our tablets, and I get all of that. But you know what? Very often when we're going somewhere, I'll carry the word of God with me uh, because I want the word of God close to me. Uh, and, then, uh, and then this, I set a goal to spend a certain amount of time in the Bible every single day. And so listen, don't let that be an accident that you're in the Bible. Set a goal, set a time and say, you know what? I'm going to spend this much time in the word of God every single day. And then last of all is this, have a specific time when you regularly read God's word. Now, let me, let me give you a verse here. And this is a great verse. You say, pastor, what does that have to do with anything? How can the word of God give me peace? Listen to this now. Listen to Psalm 119 verse 165. The Bible says, great peace have they which love thy law. <laughs> and nothing shall offend them. Now, I cannot explain all of that, but here's the thing. If God says it, I believe it, and I'll tell you something else. If God says it, it works. It works. Friend, do you seek peace in your life? I'll tell you how you can get it, at least partially. Make the Word of God a priority in your life. 
Can I get a big amen right there? Hallelujah. I like it. Man, that helps me. I mean, I got some, I got some help personally today, <laughs> and we thank the Lord for that. Hey, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put our prayer helpline on the screen right now, 704-327-5662. If you're watching this broadcast, maybe you think by accident you just happened to stumble by and uh, you say, Pastor, I didn't even mean, I, I don't even know who you are. I don't know who Calvary is. I just happened to to just drop in. Well, listen, God's a God of providence, and God had you tune in on purpose. And if you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I want you to dial that number right now that you see on the screen, 704-327-5662. And if we can pray with you, if we can believe God with you, if we can share the gospel with you, we would love, love, love to do that. Uh, now, here's the thing. If you dial that number and no one answers immediately, that's all right. Leave your name, leave a number, and one of our prayer helpline workers would love to call you back and share Christ with you today and how you can have hope, how you can have joy, how you can have a home in heaven. It's my hope that you'll do that. I'm going to leave that up there just for a few moments as I recognize our live audience today. We have a great crowd on here. We thank the Lord for that. We want to say a big howdy to the Hooks, Barry and Christine. I hope you guys are doing great today. Thank you for watching from Morgan to North Carolina. Uh, Karen Hoffman's watching today. Hello, Miss Karen. I was praying for you earlier today, Karen. It's good to see you on the broadcast today. Uh, let's see here. Lisa Helms is watching. Hey, Lisa. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Thanks for being with us today. There's the Penningtons, everyone, watching from West Jefferson, North Carolina. Uh, Eugene and Gwendolyn, hey, guys, good to see you. We love the Pennington family. There's the Heels, Mike and Nina. Hello, Brother Mike. Hello, Miss Nina. Wonderful to have you on the broadcast today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Patsy Bird is watching. Hey, Patsy. Good to see you today. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, Gwendolyn says there at Melissa's. And so, hey, Melissa. Hope you and Johnny are blessed and having a great day today. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, let's see, Teresa Cheek. Teresa says, wish we had church again tonight. <laughs> Amen, Teresa. Thank you and Jay for being faithful. And uh, it was a great Magnify conference. And we sure appreciate you being on the broadcast today. Carrie Horn's watching. Hey, Carrie. I hope you're having a great day. You and John and Amy. Thank you for tuning in. Carmen Brooks. Hey, Carmen. Good to see you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate that, Carmen. Hope you're feeling better. Hope you're getting your voice back. I'll pray for your voice. You pray for mine. How about that? And Carmen, good to see you on the broadcast today. Lord, please help Carmen's voice. I hope hope it gets better. Uh, let's see. Rose Ballou's watching. Hey, Rose. Hope you and Rachel and Garen are having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Uh, Rodney Tomlin, the one and only. Hey, Rodney. Hope you and Allison are having a great Thursday. Thank you for tuning in. Michelle Hoots is watching. Hey, Michelle, hope you and Lee and the kids are blessed beyond measure and having a great day today. Angie Hopkins is watching. Hey, Angie, hope you and Alan and the family are blessed today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Atley Brown. Hey, Atley. Good to see you, brother. Enjoyed spending a little time with you last night. Uh, Stacy Brown is watching. Hey, Stacy. Stacy's recently started attending at Calvary, and and Stacy, we're honored. We're honored. Thank you for tuning in today. That's wonderful. Let's see here. Donnie Elder's watching. Hey, Donnie. Donnie's getting ready to get married in a few <laughs> a few days. And uh, hey, Donnie, we're excited for you and Atina. It's good to see you on the broadcast today. Uh, Gilbert J. Iris is watching today. Gilbert, good to see you back again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, let's see. I'm looking fast. Uh, well, there's Zach Pope again. Hey, son. Uh, good to see you. Zach is our oldest, our oldest son. And uh, yesterday that was Mason. It might be Mason again, but uh, anyway, uh, we welcome we welcome Zach aboard. Peter Spirito is watching from John's Pass at Madero Beach, Florida. Peter, man, uh, we are uh, we're, we're a little jealous of you right now, and uh, not really, not really. Peter, hope you have a great trip. And it's good to see you watching today. Uh, Brandon and Mandy Bridges, we want to welcome the Bridges aboard. We love Brandon and Mandy. And hey, I was praying for the Bridges earlier today. It's good to see you guys on here. Kelly Livin, good. Hey, Kelly, good to see you today. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate what you're doing over at Hospice, Kelly. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking fast. Stephanie McNeely, hey, Stephanie. Hope you and Rafael and the kids are having a great day today. Just in case RJ's watching, hey, RJ. Good to see you. RJ likes it when I do that. Let's see here. Uh, Alan Hopkins is watching. Hey, Brother Alan. 
Good to see you today, buddy. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Terry Stillman is with us. Hey, Terry, hope you and Russell are having a wonderful Thursday. Thank you for tuning in. RJ is watching. <laughs> hey, RJ, good to see you, buddy. And Naomi as well. Miss Gay Horn is watching. Hey, Gay. I was praying for you and Brother Mike earlier today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Judy Connor. Hey, Judy. Good to see you today. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day in the Lord. Mike Horn's watching. Hello, Brother Mike. Good to see you, my friend. Was praying for you earlier today, Brother Mike. Thanks for tuning in. Wow. Great, great crowd on here today. Lisa Brown. Hey, Lisa. Hope you and Wayne are having a wonderful Thursday. Thank you so much for tuning in. There's the Gillies, everybody. Would you help me welcome Brother Donnie, Miss Tamara? We sure appreciate y'all watching. Norma James. Uh, Norma, good to see you. Last night was wonderful. It really was, Norma. I'm so glad you got to tune in. That's great. Uh, Phyllis Hudson's with us. Hey, Phyllis. Welcome aboard. Thank you for tuning in today. John Teague. Hey, John. Be careful about tuning in. You'll get addicted to this program. John, John's a good friend. Hey, John, hope you and your wife are having a great day today. We really appreciate that. Uh, Taylor and Courtney Stewart, we welcome the Stewarts today. It's good to see you folks. Thank you for tuning in. Donna Shoemaker, hey, Donna. So good to see you and Donnie last night, and we sure appreciate you tuning in today. There's Evan Clark. <laughs> Hello, Brother Evan. Good to see you, brother. I hope you and Savannah and River are having a good day. I'm glad the baby's feeling better. And Evan, it's good to see you. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure I've got everybody. Um, uh, Rodney says, Mom and Dad are watching. Hey, uh, Sonny and Darlene, not just saying this. I'm not just saying this. I was praying for Sonny and Darlene. And uh, hey, we love you folks. It's good to see you today. Um, let me see. Let me make sure I've got everybody. Kelly Brawley's watching. Hey, Kelly, thank you for tuning in to Countdown to Courage. We really appreciate that. There's Chuck Campbell. Hey, Chuck. Looking forward to seeing you and the kids at Calvary this weekend. Thank you for tuning in. Um, well, listen, that's some of the ones that I can see. There may be others that, have, uh, that are tuning in. If I missed you, I didn't mean to. And uh, thank you for tuning in today. Countdown family, don't ever forget this wonderful piece of advice. Be kind to everyone because everyone's having a tough time. They really are. Hey, listen, have an incredible Thursday. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow on Countdown to Courage. Be blessed, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast. We invite you to like and share to help spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tune in again every Tuesday through Friday at 3 p.m. If you would like more information concerning Countdown to Courage or the Calvary Baptist Church, please visit our website today, www.calvarybcug.com. Thank you, and until next time, may God richly bless you.